Hi guys, welcome to another Dead Good Walk. Uh, today we're in Karus, as I think it's pronounced. I don't think it's Kulros, as it looks like it's written. Um, we're at a place called West Kirk, which is pretty much surrounded by fields. Um, I wouldn't recommend driving down the muddy track like I did and almost getting your car stuck. I'd probably wait till better weather, maybe come in the summertime. So the church was built in the 1500s, uh, pre-reformation. It was a parish church for the people of Kurus until 1633. After that, it was replaced by Kurus Abbey, and that was built in 1643. So yeah, there's not a lot of information about this place, but let's just uh, enjoy the cool gravestones. I'm assuming these details that you can see in the wall there have been used as repairs there. They look like um, 18th century gravestones, but well, the cherub with the wings one does in the middle anyway. And again, this wall looks like it's been repaired in the past with some old masonry. Uh, this one here with the key on it looks like a grave slab. I think this tomb depicts uh, a malt shovel which is used in the uh, malting process to turn the grain. So the person was probably involved in brewing. So this is a 19th century mausoleum. Um, it's fenced all the way around so there's no way in. Got this one for Robert Scotland and his spouse. Definitely a shipmaker by the looks of it. This one's fairly straightforward with his skull, the hourglass, and the crossbones. So this one's interesting, it's got an hourglass which is on its side and it says, um, I'm going to read it, my glasses run out of time and then something about repent. No, I'm not sure about this one. Um, on the left hand side there it looks like there's a hammer and maybe another hammer on top of it. So I'm guessing it's probably a stonemason. 
Look at this cheeky chappy peeking out. Yeah, most of these uh, tomb slabs are in pretty bad condition, or you just can't read them because of all the moss and algae on them. Probably William Sands and Janet Proudfoot. I'm not sure what the right in Tory butt means. Sorry about the fighter jet noises, guys. Can't be helped. JA and RA, 1755, with a very smiley skull there. a strange one with a number four with a, a rope around it. Not really sure what it means, maybe he was a, a rope maker or something. And a classic skull and crossbones to finish off the video. Hope you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.